Alrighty, hello and welcome to the full release of the Splatoon 2 multiplayer. As if, as if the multiplayer is just standalone. Now, welcome to the full release of Splatoon 2. This is my first match in Splatoon 2. And funny enough, it is on one of the Splatoon 1 maps. That's kind of an odd choice, I guess, for there to be so many maps coming back immediately. Sometimes devs just kind of, they let that be free DLC or something that comes back later on, but uh, we're just gonna play some stuff from before. I think that's Tether Missiles. Yeah, that's Tether Missiles. Oh well, hopefully we can have some general fun. Splatoon 2 is a surprisingly competent uh, multiplayer experience. Of course, that does mean that uh, I kind of get a little tryhard, so I apologize in advance if I end up raging a whole bunch. I haven't seen any of the enemies yet. They're right there! Ah! Yeah, okay. <laughs> They're right there! Don't know what to do about that, but whatever. We're gonna- we're gonna jump to my teammate, and I'm gonna hope that he doesn't die. I'm gonna die. Oh, then we ran back. Alright, here, have a grenade. This is my first match of the game, so you have to excuse my newbiness. I'm also the lowest level person here. Oh, Link Armor. Ah, oh, my Ink Armor ran out just as I was actually shooting at the guy. Man, I'm the lowest person here. I'm the only one using the starter gun. So, we'll see how that goes. Oh, we're not jumping to that guy. Although he didn't die, so that's impressive. I've been buffed too! Haha! <laughs> I capitalize on the fact that guy was in the wrong place at the wrong time. What's going on over there, Jacko? Oh, he's in trouble. Alright, they are down to one person at this time. I don't know where he is, but I'm pretty sure he was- Oh, he wasn't on our side of the map, actually. He was over there. That's fun. I should back off. What's the map look like? Yeah, alright. So for people who don't know anything about Splatoon, well, it's probably pretty self-evident, but the general goal of things is to try and cover up, at least in this game mode, cover up as much as possible on the map. Uh, ooh. This is gonna be rough. I need to jump to my teammate and hope that we don't die. I think we should have this. It depends on. Oh, nope, never mind. Golly. Alright, that might cost us the game. We were in a good position, and then we weren't. Ooh, that sucks so much. I hate Inkjet. I think that's the. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, whatever. We're just trying to get up to a higher level so that way I can actually grab things. Oh my god! We were stomping on them with kills! But we just- we all died at the end, which super cost us that. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Oh well. We'll see what ends up happening. But yeah, as you can see, I am level one. Everybody else is a little bit higher than that. I don't know what the max level is for Splatoon 2. When I first played, it was, or when I was first playing Splatoon 1, it was level 20. And then I hit level 20, played a lot of multiplayer, and then they changed the level to like 50? And then that was kind of around the time when I stopped playing, so I never hit max level of Splatoon 1. So I'm wondering if we're gonna start off the same way, max level 20 or max level 50? I don't know. Ah, <laughs> this map. Well, you know, doing the Splatfest demo for Splatoon 2, we did pretty alright on this map. But, oh, it's a almost full girls versus full boys team in terms of our, our character gender choices, that's funny. I guess this is the first episode I should just acknowledge, yes, I am playing a girl character. Oh well. <laughs> I actually, I actually, uh, I liked the Splatoon girl model a lot more than the dude model in Splatoon 1. Now it's actually, it's a little bit more of a, a mix, 
But hey, you know what? The good thing is you can actually change your gender at any time now, so... <laughs> Ooh, that was unfortunate for that guy! Poor Jeffy! Alright. Well, they've lost a few people. So it is good. A good thing to push him. Now, in terms of timing, it is like a few days after Splatoon 1 has come out. Oh, oh. What? I had ink armor! Ink armor is pointless. <laughs> oh, jeez. They just kept on shoving towards our map. Our side of the map, rather. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> no. Oh, oh! I heard my teammate throwing his ink, and I got really worried. Uh, oh, hey. What did you think was gonna happen, Jeffy? That I wasn't gonna be able to shoot at you. Oh, Jeffy. Oh, whoever this guy is. Oh, he's gonna make it! <laughs> Look at the bouncing thing, what the fuck? Alright. This guy keeps choosing really bad places. That it was subtle, but we just watched the guy die. Oh, jeez! All right. The good news is it looks like we've got uh, we've got an advantage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Little do you know that even though I'm level one, I still know what I'm doing. Uh oh. What's this? So triple? You were my triple kill! Get back here, you son of a bitch! I jumped off the map! I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna, like, mentally take that as me getting that guy killed. Because he jumped off to avoid my grenade. Yeah, they got kind of destroyed. That makes up for the first match. Where we all just kind of died and whoo! What's up? Hey, you know, I'm just, I'm level one, but I've put in my time. I'm a veteran, yet not. This is what war would be like if you could take, like, a 50-year-old veteran and just shove them in new body. People would be like, oh, hey, look at this 18-year-old. Holy hell, what is he doing? <laughs> Someone make that guy a general. No, I like it on the battlefield. <sighs> I mean, that's the only thing I can imagine. If someone was, like, 50 and, like, decided, you know what would be a good idea if I went back to war? But maybe some people like that thing. Okay. I didn't really look at, at levels, but you know what? Levels don't matter! Oh, well, they somewhat do. Sometimes, uh-oh. <laughs> I got, you got it. You got it, Mrs. Bizzle. <laughs> They're just, like, looking up and down very slowly. Uh... Yeah, sometimes people like to say stuff like, oh, levels don't matter at all. And I feel like they do. They might not like, well, actually, what the fuck we're talking about? They super affect things. Uh, <laughs> if you are level 20 in this game, you're going to probably have a lot better gear than someone who is level 1 after all. But, you know, some people say in terms of like skill doesn't matter, but I always see it as level indicates in-game experience. What in the hell is going on, Dylan? I'm like, I'm just looking at my base, expecting it to already be covered up. It ain't nothing done! Oh, that's Cruz. This is an odd match. I'm not really feeling the enemy's presence here. And yet, we have the middle of the map, pretty much. Somewhat. I, I, I'm gonna cover up some of these, like, corners that we're not really getting. Yeah. 
wait a goddamn second here. Did you see that, viewers? I just blew up a grenade directly on that guy and he just shrugged it off like it was nothing. Okay, this guy's gotta get the fuck out of here. Can you just stop? Gotcha! Finally! Alright! I think we're in a bad spot here. They have pushed our side really drastically. And I don't think we have any real- Oh no, we actually have someone on our side! Never mind, I was gonna say I don't think we have any presence in their base, but uh, we have a lot of presence in their base. And now he's dead. <laughs> Cruz keeps jumping to me. Uh, oh, there's a guy above me. Nah, messing with that. High ground stuff. Cruz didn't jump to me. I feel a sense of betrayal. <laughs> that guy just stopped moving! Like, he saw me and gave up. Ah, God damn it. Alright, I need the ink. Well, I think they've lost. I think they super lost. <laughs> that was one of those really weird games where it didn't feel like anybody was generally up to snuff. What happened there, other team? What happened? Not a lot of coverage, obviously. And then Mrs. Bizzle at 0-0. Zero, zero. Well, you know, and all the winners. Oh yeah, abilities. So I already beat the campaign, so I get to at least wear the hero gear before I'm level four. And then when I'm level four, I'm gonna just drop all this stuff, or at least if I can afford it. I don't know how much things cost, but you know what? I probably should have equipped one of the tickets I got from the campaign. Give myself a little bit extra XP and battle cash. But eh, whatever. At some point, as we go forward, hopefully we'll be able to engage with the other game modes of this, well, game. I don't know how much ranked I'm going to do. Ranked in Splatoon 1 was kind of a big anger factory for me. Because there's kind of a point where, like, you get to A rank or above, and when teammates kind of let you down, and you actually lose a rank because of it, ugh. Man, Moray Towers three times in a row? I know poor Macro wasn't that amazing map, but come on. Oh well. Things will change out eventually. Alright, we're gonna, gonna rush the middle of the map. Ooh, what is this music? I like this. Can I get this over there? Ah, I missed. Alright. <laughs> I wanted to ambush that guy. That was purely all I was waiting for. Oh, that's Mrs. Bizzle! From the last match! That's cute. Where the hell is the enemy team? Look, I'm just suspicious when, like, there's nothing going on from the enemy team. Like, everything is really quiet. That's pretty much the trope of, it's quiet. It's too quiet. And then suddenly, it's an ambush or something. I don't, <laughs> this is Bizzle. You had a grenade next to you. <laughs> Are they gonna actually do anything? We'll see. That guy had a really badass hat. He didn't do anything for him, but he was badass. So you know what, he got him kudos, like compliments. All right, I'm gonna begin camping middle. Because that is what I want to do in life. What is this? What is she doing? Mrs. Bizzle! <laughs> she 
She's just like shooting at a random wall. Oh darn. I try to be cool. I try to like I'm trying to abuse these ink rails as much as I can to my advantage because being able to submerge yourself above enemies is pretty cool. Just saying. It's also great for like spamming nades. I'm not messing with that. Nope, every time I've messed with an ink jet, it doesn't go well for me. Sorry, Mrs. Bizzle. Just because you aren't looking at the danger doesn't mean the danger isn't coming for you. I'm just... <laughs> I'm like waiting for someone to be just on the other side of the map or something. Got Guys. <laughs> What'd you do? Why'd you let that happen? Oh. Oh! <laughs> she like hid! Why? Why did you hide when you were in the last portions of the match? That was a weird move, but I guess maybe they're like, I'm gonna ambush this person, and then they just choked and missed. I feel bad about that round, but I'm level two, so... <laughs> it's kind of whatever. Alright. I... Even though I'm level three... I'm gonna go grab a ticket. I'm gonna grab a ticket and either increase my money gain or my XP gain. It's not really drastically necessary at the moment, but I've got... I've got tickets! What's cracking, Squiddo? What'll it be? I have a lot of these. So... I'm gonna go... For a battle cash increase. And we're gonna see how, how much this does. Now, I don't know... How long this lasts. What? what? Daily Cali, so pure, like a ray of sunshine. These people, these artists. Oh look, there's Mrs. Bizzle. Oh, Mrs. Bizzle. And everybody else from the last match. I guess a lot of the people that you just encounter will always kind of pop up in the area. So you can look at their stuff. Maybe you want their gear. You gotta be level 10 to get to play ranked battles. Aw. I like how League Battle's locked off until you get to B- in ranked. That's funny. Play with for keeps with your squid squad. <laughs> Get some friends and just all rage together in unison. Mori Towers again! Jesus! This is kind of the problem with a, uh... A two... Limit... Map selection. Yeah, it goes away after a few hours and you get a different set of maps, but... Oh my gosh, you have a 50-50 chance of just having the same thing as before. Alright. Did that do anything? That did not do what I wanted it to. Yes! Cool! Alright. Oh, what? Ink armor really disappoints me, because ink armor makes me feel like I, I should have... Like... Basically the equivalent of two lives. But that's not how it works. All right, let's uh, let's get to business covering things up. My teammate left a well, good chunk of our map uncovered, so we're gonna wrap that up. Even though we probably should be in mid, <laughs> I always feel anxious about leaving my teammates to do something because I feel like most of the time my teammates end up letting me down. But things are going all right at the moment, so whatever. But it's nice to, to get a little bit of that extra coverage because you never know when an extra 10 to 15 points can save the match. Oh, I messed up, son of a bitch. I jumped down, uh, this is gonna be bad for us. Um, but I jumped down, assuming that Kit Kat wasn't going to turn around in time for me to, to do anything. Whoop!
But I was deadly wrong! Yeah, I'm just chilling. I- I'm- I'm fighting for mid. As long as they are in our base, I'm not in any kind of crazy rush to do anything else. I feel like there's a guy above me. Yep, there is. Shit. Do we have this? Oh shit, no we don't. No we don't. They ended up going even further into our base. Wow! Fuck me. When did that happen? See, like, the guy I chased in the mid was... The, I thought he was the guy who was coming from above, but no, that wasn't the case at all. My team let me down. My team let me down. 